you feel like everything is changing all at once right now? Could anyone have seen this coming? Well, over two weeks ago, there was a CDC doctor discussing the possibilities with reporters on a media call. And we saw the foreshadowing of exactly what has been transpiring this week. Disruption to everyday life may be severe. I had a conversation with my family over breakfast this morning, and I told my children that while I didn't think that they were at risk right now, we as a family need to be preparing for significant disruption of our lives. Significant disruption. That was weeks ago. A lot of people were saying different things then, but not these scientists. Think about how this prediction has proven correct. Sports leagues and tournaments basically telling fans do not show up or shutting down entirely. March Madness canceled today. The NHL suspending the entire regular season for now, as did the NBA, canceling games in real time just last night. So both... Head coaches have gone back, and you see the teams heading back to the locker room. The officials now going over to the scores table. You don't see that every day. Meanwhile, think about the creation of our own culture, Hollywood, putting off movies that people love. Employers telling folks work from home, maybe indefinitely until we figure this out. Entire school districts telling parents, keep your kids at home. All of this raising so many questions about fairness, about economics, about who bears the brunt of this, and about what is to become of life during this pandemic. We bring back Eugene Robinson, uh, Pulitzer Prize winner of the Washington Post, and we have tracking on the screen the facts that we know, which are against the backdrop of how life is changing. Your thoughts, sir? Well, Ari, I think today might be the day when it really came home to people uh, uh, that things are going to be different for a while. Um, and, and the big unknown is we don't know for how long. But, mm. j but just the list of, of, of things that happened today, last night and today, that, that, that you ran down. I mean, no March Madness, no um, professional sports leagues. Major League Baseball is putting off uh, opening, uh, opening day and, um, and, and won't have crowds at the, at the spring training games. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's not just the sports leagues, but those really, folk, I mean, they get your attention, yeah. right? Uh, and so many people are working from home, as I did today, because at the Washington Post, that's the policy now, if, you, if you're able to work from home, please do. Um, uh, there's hand sanitizer everywhere. We're all washing our hands. And I think what we need is um, uh, what I wish we had is a better narrator than we mm. have. Well, let me right ask now. you about that, because a word that is so overused in politics and, and culture, certainly mm -hmm. the movies that are being canceled, mm -hmm. is sacrifice. Um, how much uh, do people need to think about this, um, even with the inequities that we've covered on this very broadcast, as a time where maybe some of the stuff we got to put up with is sacrifice for our greater good and what we owe each other? Well, I, I think it's that's a lot of it, because let's face it, most of us don't know anyone who's who's been infected with the coronavirus or who suffered from COVID-19. And, and we read the stories and we see the numbers of cases, which thankfully um, uh, appear small. Mm -hmm. That's actually partly because we haven't done the testing. But um, uh, and, and so there's, a, I think, a natural tendency to say, you know, why am I turning my life upside down? For this, and there's a there's a very good answer. There's a very very good answer. We've seen what happened in, in China. We've seen what happened in Italy. We 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 know what can happen if we allow our medical system to get overwhelmed, and that's what we have to worry about. Uh, Eugene, we had you on the breaking news at the top of the hour, but this is a fitting thing to reflect on. Uh, as always, we appreciate your words, not only in writing. Um, but right here on MSNBC. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.